This is a guided mobility. We're gonna go through three movements in six minutes. And did you know that knowing why you do movements actually makes them more effective? So after you finish this session, learn about the why behind each one through this video here. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it. You're gonna need a space some sort of counterweight. I've got an eight pound here uh, weight, but you could use a pot from your kitchen or a lamp, anything like that. And of course you're gonna need yourself. We are gonna get started right now. Perfect, get that clock working. And we are actually going to begin today with our T-spine rotations. So weight moves to the side, a little bit of Imaginary super glue between my knees, 90 degrees at the knees, 90 degrees at the hips. Let's come down onto one side, just rest that head on the ground, a big thumbs down to the world, and we're gonna drag that thumb around our head, helping the spine go up and rotate. Only go as far as you can until you start to feel the first little bit of movement through your knees, and then come right back to start. We're gonna take some big breaths as we're doing this. And if you start gentle with this one, you'll end up farther ahead in the end than if you force that rotation. Not letting that thumb lift off the ground, just going as far as we can by rotating through the thoracic spine. That's why these are called T-spine rotations. We've got our last one, and we're gonna flip on over to the other side. You could just roll over, but I'm gonna do the whole switcheroo. And let's get started on side number two. Imaginary super glue applied to the knees. Oh, this one makes my hair super static. <laughs> and only going as far as we need to to feel that rotation. I'll sometimes put my other hand on top of my knees. I find that just helps me make sure that they're staying down. Oh, and it feels quite good. We've got 20 seconds left here on this second side. Remember, we're in no hurry. And if you want to pause me, I won't be offended. If you wanna do an extra, you know, 30 seconds per side, The most important thing we can do is just listen to our bodies here. Awesome. All right, we are gonna go on to our second movement. I want you to come onto your tummy, face down or to one side and hands either tucked or out straight. From there, we're gonna use our butt to lift our thigh off the ground and then we're gonna start to send it towards our opposite hand. Do not stress if you don't get all the way there or if your box is in the way of you getting all the way there. Just make sure that you are starting this movement by lifting up with the glute because that is gonna make those hip flexors relax a little bit, which means we're gonna get a better stretch through the front of the hip in preparation for that rotation of the lower half of the spine. If our first exercise kind of stretched out the top half of our spine, or rather helped us rotate the top half of our spine, this movement helps us rotate the bottom half of our spine. It feels oh so good. Good, we're gonna stand up now, get introduced to movement number three, and that is our RDL into air squat. I'm gonna get you to start today with that counterweight, whatever it is. And we're gonna start by hinging over, holding onto that counterweight, flat back. Then I'm gonna bend my knees to get a little bit closer to the ground. And then I'm gonna peel myself into a squat using that counterweight to help me get a little lower into it. And then I'm gonna stand. Awesome. We're gonna do these for a minute and we're rot alternating this with our scorpions. Again, hang out in any position that feels like your body needs it. Sometimes I spend a little bit of extra time in my low squat 
just leaning to the left and then to the right, seeing where I'm at today. But sometimes you'll wanna spend in a little bit of extra time in that hamstring stretch. It all depends on you. We've got 10 seconds left here. And then we're gonna go back to scorpions. Awesome. Okay, let's take it back to scorpions for a minute. And then we get to finish strong on our squats. Okay, lifting up, peeling over towards that opposite hand. Oh, feels so good. And then coming back to start, lifting up our other foot and letting it come over towards our other hand. And even though we're using our glutes, we're not trying to jam the spine at all. We wanna keep this gentle. Lift, rotate, and come back to start. Lift, rotate, and come back to start. Awesome, okay, we get to finish with one more round of our squats. We're gonna go a little bit over six minutes because of transition times. But if you've done my six minute mobilities before, you know that that happens. <laughs> You're gonna give me seven minutes instead of six, if that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. So remember, flat back for the hinge so that you can feel it through the calves, the hamstrings, even the glutes. And then it's okay if that back rounds a tiny bit in your lowest squat position. We don't wanna load up this position, so certainly we're not going this low when we have a barbell on our back. But for mobility, it's okay, as long as it's not excessive. I don't want you hanging here. We want to be active through the core to feel that mobility increase through our hips. Good, we're gonna hang out in this last one just a little bit longer. Well, I thank you so much for joining me for today's six minute mobility. Remember, learn the why behind these exercises to get more out of them and have a wilder day.